scorecards, my A should be the same as your A because we've agreed. What gets counted, you know, what are the cutoff points? Now, we still have a system, though, that doesn't solve this problem. And that is, what if a kid walks in and there are fours in everything you teach him? See the problem? Yeah, you see, that's endemic to the system. And it's because in our system, what we say is, if you're a certain chronological age, you're getting certain content, which makes no sense cognitively. It's just because it's been there for over 100 years, about 150 years. So if you really wanted to push the envelope, you'd replace the time-based system with a more of a performance-based system. The time-based system, over 100 years old, 1904, the Carnegie Commission got together and they said, let's standardize high school, and well, they did it by time. They said to get a Carnegie unit, which we now call a credit, you know, you've got to be in school X number of days. You follow me? Now, that's been there for a long time. We just kind of, we just, you know, just live with it. We don't even think about it. There's some pretty scary consequences. First of all, the requirements of a time-based system. Students must be in class the entire year, must behave appropriately, must complete the work assigned to them, must figure out what each teacher expects of them. Do you agree with that? No kidding. You look at some of the research out there, you know, this stuff, a lot of case study stuff, but it's pretty compelling stuff. You know, some kids will say, How do you, what do you need to do to do well in school? Figure out the teacher. That's my first job. What do they want? What don't they want? You know, this teacher, I can raise my hand. I get, you know, they like that. The other teacher, you know, I can't, I can't fool around. You know, it's figuring out the teacher. And then five, can be passed on without adequate knowledge if they are successful at one and four. Some unintended consequences of a time-based system. Students succeed if they can figure out and are willing to follow the rules, right? Look at the second one. Those students who do not figure out the rules or are unwilling to follow them, you know, gradually get so far behind they just drop out. 30% of the kids in this country do not get diplomas. Okay, that's a national disaster. Think about that.